probably gonna lose some subscribers about this one. I have to do this before I lose my nerve. <laughs> I think of what I'm gonna say in this video is going to shock a lot of you guys that have followed me for a long time. But here goes, okay? This is this is heavy on my heart today, and it has been for a little while, and it's today, it's time to it's time to do this. So we have these different personas, right? I like to think of it as like a pizza, okay? So when you go to work, work sees these few slices. You know, you're the whole pie, right? Work sees these few slices. Uh, maybe you're a parent, your kids see these few slices, okay? And then the same thing goes for social media. You know, you guys see these few slices of me. And to be honest, like, <clears throat> I'm kind of sick and tired of just showing you guys a few of my slices. <laughs> that sounds dirty. Didn't mean it that way, but whatever. It's not that who I'm on here on YouTube isn't me. It's just not the entirety of me. Like, for example, I curse like a sailor. And maybe I admit that because I don't want to be judged. Well, fuck that. <laughs> I can't believe I just did it on camera. <laughs> or because I post Christian content, sometimes you'll get those people that are like, it's not very Christian of you to curse. It, oh, it's not very Christian of you to have such a low cut shirt on. Well, fuck you. Like, isn't God the only one here that's supposed to be judging? That's not very Christian of you. Look, like, the person I've been on here is me. I do think I'm a very kind and empathetic and helping and, and giving person. But I will tell you, I don't really think I'm a nice person. You guys ever see that thing? I think it was like on TikTok where they said, if you're in the United States, that everyone on the East Coast is kind but not nice and everyone on the West Coast is nice but not kind. East Coast here. <laughs> Like, I love people. I truly do. My whole reason for having this channel and posting a, a video every single week and posting all these shorts, like, guys, do you understand that I'm doing 15 videos a week right now? It's because I'm passionate about it and I want to help you and I want you to be the best version of you and live a more loving, fulfilling, and happy life. Okay? Like, that's why I do this. Like I genuinely love you and I genuinely care about you and your well-being. And that goes for the majority of people. Like I love people, but I don't always like them, you know? <laughs> like the thing is, is that with the content on my channel, it's been very authentic, but the, the, the delivery of it has not been because I'm scared, I guess. Like I don't want you guys to judge me or whatever, but like, fuck that. Like, I've been trying to fit myself into this whole little box of like, oh, you know, dude, little Sarah, she's so sweet, she's so kind. It's like, yeah, I am, I am, but I'm also a bitch. Like, I'm also a little more judgmental than I'd like to be, and it's something I'm working on, okay? There's always things that we can be improving on, right? But, like, I'm over it. Like I'm over having to be in that specific mood to be able to film content for you guys. Like I want to be on here the way I am right now and saying fuck this and you're being stupid and this and that. Like some days, yes, I am that soft spoken, quiet, sweet, genuine, you know, whatever person. But the majority of the time, like this is how I speak. This is how I talk. And I'm just kind of done hiding those slices of the pie for you guys, okay? And like, a lot of you aren't gonna like it. Like, maybe like some of the people in here that are following me because of my Christian content, like, you're not gonna like the fact that I curse. Okay, then don't follow me, okay? But like, I'm done catering to every single person on the internet and trying to put myself in this box that I feel that y'all have placed me in because I'm scared. When in reality, honestly guys, you'll probably like me better this way anyway. Like, I'm fucking funny, okay? <laughs> like, I am goofy, I am weird, I am... All that. <laughs> Ew. Babe, say hi. Say hi. Like, I'm just sick of filtering and editing those parts of me out. Like, I'm not doing it anymore. I feel like free <laughs> like my whole channel is about authenticity and freedom and this whole time I didn't realize that I wasn't doing that <laughs> so here I am world <laughs> I'm at this season in my life right now where setting boundaries and being authentically me 
is my priority. And it's, it's shaking shit up, let me tell you. Okay, because setting boundaries is not an easy thing to do if you've never really done it before. People will respond to you differently and it starts to almost become painful to say or to do things that you don't wanna do. And that's kind of where I'm at and, and why things have to change on my channel, okay? Because like it's just not doable for me anymore. And I sometimes feel like people need a little stern talking to. And sometimes I feel like people are dumb. <laughs> I may love my friends and my family and whoever, but sometimes they'll say or do something and I'm like, you're a fucking idiot. Just like I'm sure they feel about me. But I'm at the point now where when I come on here and talk to you guys, I'm not sugarcoating shit anymore. So, I think it'll be better for you. <laughs> sometimes when I'm talking to someone, I just wanna fucking smack them and be like, what the fuck? You know, or so, sometimes I can be in the middle of a conversation with someone and I just literally want to be like, I'm done here and like walk away. And if that makes me a bitch, if that makes me mean, if that doesn't fit your mold of me, that's fine. <laughs> I don't care anymore. Like I'm tired of tiptoeing around shit and not being completely straightforward. Like in all areas of my life, like I can just, I can't do it anymore, okay? <laughs> We're done, we're done. Like I see, I see through a lot of people's bullshit, you know, including my own. And for fear of making someone uncomfortable or embarrassed or feel judged or whatever it is, I have my entire life stepped back from saying what I wanna say, okay? Like I make myself uncomfortable so that the people around me don't feel uncomfortable and this whole time I thought that was a, a positive trait. You know, wow, I'm, I'm so kind. You know, I'm so caring. I'm so thoughtful. Well, fuck that, okay? Because in reality, are you actually helping people if you're not being authentic and if you're not speaking up? I don't really think so. I don't know about you guys, but for me, like, I would rather hear the truth and be able to move through that than have people too afraid to tell me the truth. You know, um, and that's kind of where I'm at, like moving forward on this channel, like you're gonna have some high energy videos like this, you're gonna have some low energy videos, you're gonna have some in the middle, like most of the ones that I've shot up to this point. It's going to be authentic for how I feel that day. So strap the fuck into this roller coaster. <laughs> like, am I judging people? Sometimes. <laughs> I try my best not to. Do I love them? 99% of the time, yeah. Do I accept them for who they are and where they are at this point in life? Most times. Do I think they can do better? Always. I always think, myself included, that we can all do better than we currently are. And that is the whole point of this channel. Every time I make a video on here, it has come from some sort of personal inspiration in my life, okay? No one is ever perfect. There are many things that I work on daily, and honestly, filming this video and putting this out there, like it's fucking hot. Now where are my clothes? <laughs> like, doing this video is a huge step for me, and putting this out there is a huge step for me in my own growth. And I hope that with all of this, I maybe inspired you to step out of your own comfort zone and speak up for yourself, and and do something that aligns with you because you are here to be you, not anyone else. You are not here to please anyone else, okay? You are here to learn and to evolve and to live a life authentically to you. It takes a lot of bravery when you realize that maybe in this aspect or that aspect of your life, you're not doing that. And it takes even more courage to do something about it. So I hope with anything, if you're still watching this video and you like this, this slice of Sarah, um, you know, I hope that you at least took that away from this video and I'm not changing my ending because I do love you guys so much and I want you to be limitlessly yourself. That's the whole thing I've been saying this whole freaking time, you know? At the end of the at the end of, at the end of every video, be limitlessly yourself. But like, 
Do it! <laughs> Be limitlessly yourself. Even the parts that you think that people are gonna judge you on. Like, do you! <laughs> do you! Fuck it! <laughs> I hope I scrounged my way out of your little box today. Fuck your box. Fuck your box. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> I'll see you next week. <laughs> you never know which Sarah you're gonna get. <laughs> but doesn't that keep things exciting? Like, you'll know. You click on that YouTube video, you'll know. She's gonna be fire! Or she's gonna be sitting there like a proper girl. You all fucking know. So that's why you gotta stay. No. So that's why you should subscribe if you like this video. Because more is coming. <laughs> I love you guys. See you next week. Don't forget, be limitlessly yourself.